through our practice so for today let me just open the examples that i got for our practice because the book ones we already most of us have done so i just wanted some different things okay assalamualaikum can you please share the screen yes just a second I'm trying to um, get the examples up. I'll share the screen just a moment. In, uh... yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, it's open, so I can share the screen now. I'm going to open the whiteboard and write it down for you. Because I won't be able to write where I have written um, examples, so we'll start with a simple one and one that we did. Why is not audible? So I'm going to uh, mute everybody, and uh, please, if you want to ask any questions, unmute yourself, and then uh, you're free to unmute at any time. Okay, this is just I'm. Uh, doing so that the background noise is not that much so waya jal waya jala mahu fihi hey you know This is Surah Nisa, Ayah 19. Okay. Now, yesterday, um, when we doing when we were doing Jumla and Smiya, the process that we learned was going word by word, analyzing each word, making the bucket, then seeing till when the bucket goes where it ends and where a new bucket starts. So all of that process will be the same for Joomla failure as well, right? We're going to go um, word by word and see whether it's a ism, fail, harf, analyze it accordingly, and then go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Now here you have, we'll start with wow. What is wow? Is it a ism, fail or harf? Harf, Atif. Yes, it is a harf. And that of Atif. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Then we move on to the, because we know that harf, Atif cannot be chained to anything. So it is by itself here. It is performing something because this is a part of the ayah, but we're not going to go into that right now. Okay, this word, next word. Is it an ism, fail, or harf? It's a fail. It's a fail, mudare. Okay, good. Fail, then it is a present tense, mudare. So you've got your fail here. Okay, now what is the inside dua here? What is the version? Hua, Hua version. Hua, Hua version allows us uh, an option of an outside dua. Is it is an outside dua here? Uh, yes. Allah. Yes. Allah. 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 
which is after the fail and rafa rafa these are the two conditions for an outside is outside file right we also analyze the word so what is the status number gender and type of anism rafa rafa 1 mp singular masculine proper, proper. exactly so this should be here we should analyze the ism first and then decide because if you do not then we might miss something about it so inshallah mm -hmm. after you see whether the word is an ism or not if it is an ism then first analyze it and then place it uh, with something else so waya jala this is your fail you have an outside file Right. Then, is there any relation like we did yesterday? Is there any relation between these two, Allahu and Fi? No. no. We have seven fragments, right? That we check yes. whether there is some relationship between two isms, two harfs, or whatnot. So, one is idafa. Then you have mausuf sifa. Then you have pointer fragment. Then you have H O N fragment. Then you have H O J fragment, right? Yeah. Then you have harf of ataf, and then you have isme mausul. So, do any of these apply here? No. No. Exactly. Allahu cannot be a mudaf. Allahu can be a mausuf, but fi is a harf. Um, uh, Allahu is not a pointer. It's not an H O N. It's not an H O J. It's not in a harf of atav, and it is not isme mausuf. So, when we determine that there is no relation between two words, then it means that the bucket has ended. So your file bucket has ended too. Okay. So now you have a fail, then you have a file. Okay. Anything to ask till now? Everything clear till now? Yes. Yes. Excuse me, I forgot what's idafa. Idafa is the possessor and the owner relationship between two isms. For example, Kitabullahi, the book of Allah. Jar Majroor. No, 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 not Jar Majroor. Uh, the first. Mudaf, ism, mudaf, mudaf. Yes, the first okay. ism will be Mudaf. Okay, yes. And the yes, second mudaf. will be Mudaf. Yeah, okay, thank you. No problem at all. Okay. So, next uh, is is this one word or two words? Two. two. What are they? P and Attached pronoun. This is an attached pronoun. So analyze the pronoun for me, please. Jar. Jar. Singular. Masculine and proper. Proper. What do we call the ism that is in jar status after half of jar? Majroor. Majroor. Jar majroor. Yes, it is ism majroor, jar majroor. Okay, so these fi he is connected because it is an HOJ fragment. So they are attached together. So they are already connected. MBF. Yes. Exactly. MBF. Because in Jumla failure, only yeah. HOJ fragment can be mutalik bil fail. Okay. Yeah. okay. Is there any relation, any fragment between he and khayran? No. Because both are isms. No. 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 So that bucket is full. So your MBF bucket has ended. Complete. Alhamdulillah. Now you have a word is this a ism fail or harf? It's ism. It's an ism. 
analyze it, please? Yes, sir. Nasab. Nasab. Singular. Masculine. Masculine. Common. Common. Yes. So it is a Nasab ism coming after a fail. Masculine. What will it be? Maful, maful. Detail. Maful be. Good. Maful. Now we have to decide what type of maful. Hmm. Is it What's the meaning of Yajala? Yajala hmm. means he made. He made. Oh, it, is this made. A, is the, he, he makes. makes. He makes. Yes, it is Fele Mudare present. He makes. The question will be what, right? It's yes. Makul Bihi. What did Allah make? Exactly. Is what? This a, is this the fail that has to it's, it's answering uh, one the question one, yes 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 uh, one just one second um jala is a fail that can this have one. two muffles can can okay can. Not always. it's not always okay okay but just okay. keep this in mind we okay. have another word so it might be another muffle but mm -hmm. it can have okay 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 so this is maful b excellent now we have another word let's analyze this is it a fail ism or harf it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's in nasab okay. then nasab, can you nasab singular masculine and okay this is common? one this is two okay. now Description, description. And Masub Sifa. And it's describing Hairan, so that's why it's Exactly. Masub. This is the last condition that we need to connect these two words in one bucket. So this is Maful Bihi. Masub Sifa, okay. Maful Bihi. Because if we did not have this, then of course you would have had Maful Bihi 1 and Maful Bihi. Two. 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 But because yeah. it is describing, so we don't have a, a maful bihi two. Actually, we only have one maful bihi, which is a mosul sifa fragment. Yeah. So now you have fail. You have an outside file. You have an MBF. And you have a maful bihi. Okay. All of these... Yes. I have a question. Is, is MBF Mukaddam? Yes. Jazakallahu khair. If MBF Mukaddam. I have a question. Yes. Uh, is it Maful Bihi or uh, Khairan Kasiran means which question it is answering? What or how? Uh, what? Allah puts or Allah makes. These are the two meanings Allah. of Yajal. Allah puts and Allah makes in it. Fihi. And Kasiran means how it is made, na? No. What does he put in? Not how does he put in? What is it describing actually? As you said, it's more so Sifa. So what is the meaning of Kasiran? Kasiran. Uh, great, uh, plenty, good, much good. A lot of good. A lot of good. So it will be how? Just a second. Let's uh, delete this and then deal with this so that we have a clear place to discuss this. So the question would be uh, what he put in it? Yes. So that answer is plenty good in it. Okay. Yes. 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 Because it is answering. Sir, I would like have... to ask uh, yes, one yes. thing. Like here, I understood. Uh, like Khairan Kasiran is okay. I understood it's describing, but there are plenty of words which we don't understand. So how do we come to know whether they are describing or not? That is why we are doing surf along with Nahu. Hmm. Because in surf, we will... unless we don't do enough surf, we won't be able to write, uh, understand. Yes, yes, yes. That's why when Ustad gives us examples from the Quran, 
he also provides the meanings yeah because right now of course we have just started and uh, we haven't started to learn how to use the dictionaries the arabic dictionaries don't uh, go like the english ones so there are certain things that you need to know and do before you can use an arabic dictionary so right. that's why until that moment where you can um, do it yourself then of course the vocab will be provided to you and one thing that you can do i know it's already a lot but uh, in your book whatever arabic is given if it there's a translation with it try to just keep reading Remember. it so that yeah, it settles yeah. in your mind you yes, don't have yes. to uh, memorize it as such uh, as much as you need to understand it because uh, i have a question the- Sure. Um, until or unless we don't know the meaning, so when we figure out maful be he maful who etc., so we should know the meaning first, and then we we um uh, what you yes. say mark them as as maful be he and maful because I don't know like what what kind of question should I ask. Of course, this. of course, that's that's completely understandable, and of course, the meaning in this regard will help us see. which questions it is answered okay so Thank you don't uh, usually we have the question and not the answer but mm-hmm. here you have the answer we have the answer question. question yeah yeah so assistant so would be one step behind okay if you uh, tell us the vocabulary as well while writing the, the sure thing, uh, yeah sure sure no problem at all i'll i'll start telling you the translation as well of the ayas Sister Asfi, I would like to interrupt you, please. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, regarding Mosuf Sifa, you said the third step is the description, the describing part. Mm-hmm. So, what does it describe? How will we come to know? Do we have to know Sarf for that? Yes, yes. Okay. There are certain uh, scales of words that come as Sifa, and uh, vocabulary also helps. So, okay. yes, Sarf will help us because in in who you are uh, doing um, macro study uh, right. you are looking from the outside in correct but in surf you are just going in and looking outside okay okay so in fail you are doing micro study you are getting one word and you are getting to the bottom of that word how was it made what is the scale because those scales do not only let you know what type of word it is they also let you know how to translate it okay so your kasiran is describing uh, khairan is that yes yes okay. because in mausuf sifa what happened was that all of the focus of everyone was just matching the four properties That's so right. the first two conditions we know by heart and we always do it that they must both must be ism exactly then uh, they both should have the same properties but yeah. what happens is that we miss the third condition yeah. and that's why when we did the names of allah like mm-hmm. al ghafur wa ar rahim we made them mausuf sifa because of course both are isms both have the same properties so why not but only the third condition confirms your theory of two isms being mausuf sifa together so basically adjective should describe the noun that's the third yes point. because mo- sifa is adjective if you do right. not have an adjective then of course you don't have a mausuf as well hmm so that's so why, so that important third. point it should match yes Only the third is- condition ah. exactly because uh, remember uh, when we did pointer uh, fragments isme ishara and musharun ila are also same in their properties right but of course we don't call them is uh, mausuf sifa we call them isme ishara and musharun ila musharun because over there one word is pointing at another not describing it right so that third condition always keep that in mind inshallah so that you don't end up making mausuf sifa out of something that is not a mausuf sifa okay. thank you so okay. much no problem at all so yes so what we were discussing was what where when how then what else why 
and emphasizer or emphasizer right this is a bit different otherwise all of them are questions right so if i say um z gave me a book right so when i gave is of course the fail z is the right outside doer and then the question would be gave what, what did he give the book and that will depend on if i write he z he gave me the book okay this sorry this would be um let me so he gave is your fail and file oh. now he gave who me me oh. right yeah so who answers what and who sorry i forgot this yeah. what and what maful be he yes this is maful be he and what did he give me the book so again maful be he yes because this is answering what what did he give you so this is maful be he so for that you need to know the translation to be yeah. able to see and understand what question it is asking so let's uh, move on to our next example and see uh, if we can get a better understanding of the mafuls so in this sentence what would only... be the sister asfia what would be the meaning here because of this uh, mbf uh, muakkara oh um i was looking into the abnormal structures and there are only two templates that bring ikhtisas and the rest may have special meanings but it is not discussed in the chapter yet so what when i was going through there were only two uh, ways that uh, special uh, ikhtisas is happening in jumla failure but i'm not going to discuss that right now <laughs> uh because uh, that is our topic for uh, day after tomorrow inshallah and we'll do it extensively so don't worry we won't go ahead until and unless we've completely understood all of those concepts um here mbf muqaddam and maful bihi muakhar can mean can may mean special meaning but it won't be ikhtisas Okay. So how would we translate this like is is this going to be part of the test that we need to know I don't think so that a translation would be uh, the main focal point um and if it is then he will give you the vocabulary he did not say anything no, about the meaning is like how would we know if this has special meaning and how would we like Write it we down. will go. Okay. We will go through the sentence structure, uh, advanced and I mean, oh, okay. sentence structure. Then we will know there are certain only two templates that were given in the book, and that's all we need to know for now, right? Uh, because we have to learn a lot more, uh, which happens in Jumla failure and Jumla ismia, uh, which we haven't done yet. So, inshallah, when we go to that stage. um it will be more detailed on what the templates look like and how to a certain meanings from certain arrangements so we've just started it inshallah i just want everybody to be on the same page on the jumla ismi and failia that they are able to a certain all the components and understand how they work together and then inshallah we'll move on to um that abnormal structures inshallah okay So let's go on to the next. Aya.
This is Naman fifteen. Surah Naman, Ayah fifteen. Okay. So let's translate it first so that we are able to um, do the meanings. It is Surah 27. Okay. And we had certainly given to David and Solomon knowledge. This is the meaning. Let's start with the analysis. Wow. What is wow? Parvata. Laqad. Lam is the lam of emphasis. Tawkid. Yes. Qad is translated as in fact, but we haven't done it yet, so we're just going to translate it and move on. But okay. what is it? Is it a herb? Uh, yes, is it, it is a herb. Okay. Okay. Ataina. What is this? It is a ism, fail, or harf. Fail, Maji. Fail, Maji. Yes, it is a fail. Because of the na ending, it is past tense. Fail, Maji. And Which what word? Which family is it from? Ah, uh, so it, it is a weird word. Okay. Yes. So it might be family four. Ata, it is family four. Family four is uh, aslama. aslama. So it is aslama. Then you have ataya, and it becomes ata. How does this become this? We'll do it in inshallah in reg irregular. Advanced self. Okay. So for now, it's just important to know the fail and the file. What is the file? Nano. Nano. Yes. It's the inside file. Nano. Excellent. So you have the fail and you have the file. So your fail file bucket. Has ended. Now, what is this? Mafool. Is it? Yes. Go, go through the process. Always. First. Yes, it is ism, then analyze it. Flexible. 1M proper. Flexible. Yes. And what will it be? Maful bihi. Maful bihi. So the new bucket is starting, which is maful. Uh, and yeah, this is maful. Now, we gave who? Dao. Dao. So, it is answering who. So what type of maful is it? Bihi. Maful bihi. Maful bihi. Yes. Uh, okay. Sister, whenever it's uh, nasib, for sure it's a maful, is it? In a jumla failure, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then Dawuda. Okay. Then you have, what is this? Harfata. So will the bucket continue or end? Continue. Continue. Yeah. Because you have the half of other fragment That's going working. on. Yeah. So it's connected. Then you have Suleimana. What is Suleimana? Islam. 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 Islam.
Okay. Is that good enough? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's just delete this part and we can see how to name the other fragment. So Alhamdulillah, you, because of the reason that a Jumla failure only has the fail part in the fail part, the rest of it is fragment and ism. So our ism also gets revised alongside. Okay, so Dabuda wa Sulaimana. So the word before the Ataf, this is Harf of Ataf, this we know. The word before it to what we are connecting is matuf ilay because this is being connected to this ilayhi is towards it mm. and this is harf of atav and what is being connected this so we call this matuf ala Sorry, or just Allah would be fine too. So this is how you name the uh, isms and the parts of a harf of ataf. Now, all of this will make harf of ataf fragment. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. You're welcome. Okay. Hello. Uh, yes. These both called Matuf Ilai, Dawuda, and uh, Sulaiman. Yeah, one is Ilai and one is Alai. So that's why usually we don't use this term a lot, we just use this. Okay. Okay, let's move on to our next ayah. Any questions in this ayah? No, no thank you. No, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, let's do. Hmm. This is Al Kahf, Aya sixty one. Okay. And it's about the fish that Musa saw when they were on their journey to a certain where to meet Hazrat Khizr. So, Fatta Khaza, and it took Sabilahu its course, Fil Bahri, into the sea. Saraba slipping away. Okay. Can you repeat the translation? Sure. And it took mm -hmm. its, its course. course into the sea, slipping away. So fire is becoming angry. Sorry? The Fatta Hazu, it is right? Fatta Hazu. Fa is usually then. Yeah. Your, yeah. Your you said and. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Uh, because in the translation is given and. So I just okay. said and. Because fa okay. is sometimes used as harfe ataf as well. Right. So right, right. That's why I asked. Yeah. Both of them are completely fine. No, no worries. They don't really fine. change the context basically. Right. Okay, so here either it's a starter word or a harf of ataf. So here I think it is harf of ataf fa. It's working as a harf of ataf. Okay, now this word is it takhada. 
Is it as ism, fail, or harf? Fail, fail, imadi. It is a very famous fail, imadi. <laughs> okay. And <clears throat> can anybody tell me what family it is from? It's from Iqtaraba family. Yes, F8. Iqtaraba. We had a lot of days trying to figure that out. Iqtaraba. Okay, excellent. And what is the version? What is the inside to us? Huwa. Okay. Huwa. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, Hua. Now, this makes it possible for us to have an outside ism. Is there an outside ism in this sentence? No. 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 So, this will be our inside file. Fail in file. So, you have your fail madi and you have your inside dua. This is your one bucket that is ended. Because there is no chain happening after iftakhada, nothing is attached to it. And it's not an ism, so it can't have any fragment. So our bucket ends. Oh. Is this one word or two words? Two words. Two, two words. Sabila. What are the? Yes. Sabila. Attach pronouns. Attach pronouns. Oh. We'll analyze each one oh. differently, uh, separately. What is this? Isam. Analyze it, please. Dal. It's Nasab. Nasab. One F. Feminine. Yeah. Feminine. P or C. P or C. We have to decide this, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it is nasab. So, what will we call it? Maful. Maful. Yes. So, it took where is it? Sabila. Maful bihi. Yes. Maful bihi. Sabil is a path. What did you do? It's did it do? not a place, it's a path. And a path can be anything. So, wait, wouldn't it question where? Uh, where would be answered, where did it take its path? Okay. With the Sabil, it is, what did it take? What? Yeah. Right? So, it is Maful Bihi. What? Um, the, the reason why we actually sometimes get confused is that we mix the words of time and space in English to those of in, in Arabic. So, right? so there's one, one more confusion. I just need to know if uh, a fee is coming in with the Jar Majroor is basically um, answers the question where, right? Yes. So uh, are there possibilities of any other Jar Majroor also making this question where? Or is that just... will, yes, that will depend on what harf of jar is make, uh, coming and uh, how it is working within the sentence. So you can't just say blanketly, like you can't yes. uh, take uh, one rule to all. Always, yeah. Yeah, so we can't so... say that P is always uh, answers question why. Usually, usually because P okay. is tells you uh, the place actually. Yeah. So usually fee will, but what uh, the other half of jars, if they come, then we'll have to see case by case. We can't just say this happens every time. Okay. Why? Oh, yeah. So that's why whenever we do a sentence, we analyze each word separately and then we see how it fits into the whole sentence. Right? So that's why we're making buckets. So we know how to translate every part accordingly. Okay. And what else is this? <clears throat> this is Maful Bihi. What else is this? Mudaf. Yes, light and Noel. Light and Noel. So it is Mudaf. Who? Is it a ism, fail, or harf? Mm. Ism. Yes. Analyze it for me, please. Jar. Jar. 
because so, it is connected to an essence of three char one masculine and plural so because of this plural becomes singular okay so we can say that it is plural okay so our bucket of maful bihi excuse me how we can say it's a jar hua who who well yes. remember when we did attached pronouns in the beginning we said mm. there is uh, attached pronouns can either be jar or nasab yes so there are two reasons for each so if uh, the attached pronoun is attached to a ism yes then it will always make the idafa fragment okay it will always be mudafila mudafila yeah and because we know that mudafila is jar yes so that's why we call it we call the status of that attached pronoun to an ism as jar okay, and another thanks. reason for uh, you welcome and another reason for it attached pronoun to be jar is because it's coming after a harf of jar so these two reasons are for jar can somebody tell me uh, how is it possible for an attached pronoun to be in nasab status when it has a harf of nasab harf and when it is attached with the fi'il yes exactly so either harf of nasab is before it or it is attached to a fi'il a fi'il so then the attached pronoun the status yes, of the attached pronoun will be nasab yes, okay so this point clear yes mm-hmm. alhamdulillah okay is there any relation between who and fi no no <laughs> no not possible exactly so our maful bi hi bucket has and now what is fi half of jar and al bahri is it an ism or a fail ism ism analyze it please jar 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 singular masculine masculine plural plural okay so what is this majrur Yes, it's it's majrur. <coughs> Sorry, and then what will it be? Half of jar fragment. MBF. Yes. So your MBF bucket is there. Okay. Yes. Now. there is there any relation though i made the bucket before asking okay so this is a not a relationship between al bahari and saraba of course one is jar and the other is nasab so our bucket will end <coughs> can we explain this mbf in another way yes it can also be maful fi i think because it's answering the where question yes because it is answering where so then we will say mbf fi mahalli fi mahalli yes in the place of maful bihi so fi mahalli yes sir nasab nasab and you have to mention what you are making it into it's a maful fihi right yes so mutalliq bil fail here is in the bucket of maful fihi so we make it nasab we think it nasab and it is in the bucket of maful fihi so the correct way of saying all of this is mbf mutalliq bil mafu bil fail fi mahalli nasab maful fihi okay first me sure to check right mm. okay shall i just uh, delete the last part so i can write for the next part if you have written it with you yes yeah, if 
Mr. Is it right that ittakhazu and ja'ala always have two mafuls? Yes, and also atayna, ata. Yeah. Okay. Because um, you I said uh, it's not always. Gave, I mean, the, the yes, 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 not always, but they can have. Can have. Exactly. And ja'ala, I'm just. Ja'ala can have two maful bees? Yes, it can have two maful bees. Ja'ala can have, and Ittakhada can have, and Ata can oh. have. What about oh. Raita? Ra. An... No? Ra uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Ata is like Ataina, right? Or no? Ataina, yes. You write. You oh, give yeah. us something. So okay. I'm just yeah. checking one thing with uh, Saraba. So how have they? Hmm. <clears throat> What's the meaning of Saraba? Hmm. The meaning of Saraba is. Uh, slipping away. I'm going to delete this for the Mafu uh, MBF so you can write it in your own notes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Now your new bucket has started, and because there's only one word, so we have to decide what that is. Is this an ism fail or harf? Ism. Analyze the ism, please. Nasab one singular, masculine, common, proper. No common, common. Okay. Because it is nasab, what will we call it? Maful. Maful bhi. No. Maful. Okay. Now this is again the same thing that we got stuck in yesterday, right? With jala. Mm. So uh, although yeah. this seems like, how did the fish get away or Condition. take a bath? But Shake. because ittakhada is a fail that takes two maful bihis. Mm. So what will we say? This is bihi maful bihi two. Two, yes. Mm. So if these words come, then we know they have two uh, maful. So yes. and one is maful bihi, then obviously the other has to be maful bihi. Yes. Okay. Because okay. I ch just checked uh, one of the grammatical analysis books, and it is maful bihi in it as well. So it is for jala. It is for ittakhazu uh, ataya and uh, something yes, else. Yes, jala. Three okay. now for now. Uh, let me check if I've gotten any message back from. Sister Shumana. Okay. It's for yes. Jala and which one? What's the third one? Ata. Ata. I'm going to make a question for this. For this mafool being, how will we make a question? I didn't get this part. Yes. Um. If we said if like the example, the meaning is that it took a path in the sea, slipping away, right? So with Sabila, we could say yes. The question would have been what, right? So that's yeah. why we said it is maful bihi. What did it take? It took Sabila. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Then Saraba, in normal circumstances, with any other fail, Saraba would have been a maful hal. Uh, how? How? Yeah, it's making how question to me. How mix? Yes, but the problem is that it tafaza is a special kind of fail. Which, if there are more than one maful, they, it will make both of them. Okay. 
So it doesn't matter what question Saraba is answering. Okay. Because of its tafada, we will term it as maful bihi too. Uh, Sister Asya, uh, you said that uh, these words, Ittakhaza, Jawala, and Ata, they can have two, uh, two mafuls, not necessary. So, uh, I mean, when this Saraba is acting like it's answering the how question, how will we know that it is maful bihi and not? Uh, because, uh, like I said, that with these special fails that me that take into. If there are more than one mafuls, the second one will automatically be the maful bihi. Okay, no matter what question is it's answering, it's going to be maful bihi. Yes, and that's what we got stuck yesterday as well. Okay, okay. When we yeah. were doing jala, because yeah, the, yeah. the second one was looking like it was ma maful hal. But yeah, okay. as Ustaz said, that when you have Jala Ittakhada, and I just checked the list, Ra'a is also uh, in this category. You were correct. Uh, I missed that. So there are many uh, in the list, and they are Ra'a Wajada to find, Ra'a to see, Alima to know, um, Za'ama to assume, Hasiba also to assume. Mm -hmm. Then you have khala. Um, it is used for doubt. Okay. Zanna, also used for doubt. Then there are, yes, and some more. Ara, alama, ambaa, nabaa, akhbara, khabara, haddatha. There are many. So, inshallah. As we go through our studies, we I will pass on these lists to you so you can have them with you. But if you don't get them, it's okay. We haven't done them yet. So inshallah, inshallah, when we do, we'll get a more better understanding of them. What is Wajada? I'll, I'll send these. So inshallah, no, no problem. Uh, uh, I'll send the list to the groups. You'll have them, inshallah. Okay. Everything understood till now? Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Please explain once again. Yeah, just a second. Yes, sorry, what were you asking? Please once again explain. Fasta Khaza. Fasta Khaza. Okay. Let me just. Uh, Delete us so that we can go through this again. Okay. Ba is the starting letter, right? Or it is a half of a taf. So it can be both. Half of a taf is only one. There are many haruf etaf. Okay. We haven't done them yet. Um, okay. You might know summa. Mm. Summa is one of the haruf etaf. Okay. Am. Am is a haruf etaf. Fa has one of the functions as haruf etaf. So we haven't done the all of the haruf etaf right, uh, as yet. So inshallah we'll do them. Okay. Okay. So... Remember when we were doing the Iqtaraba family, hmm. we said that this Hamza in the beginning, what is it called? Hmm. Hamza Tul Wasl. Oh, Hamza Tul Wasl. And when we add something to it, what happens is that we stop reading it. Hmm. So here what happened was that the word was ittakhada So when we added fa to it what happened this kasra is stopped reading So instead of fa ittakhada what we read was fa ittakhada Exactly. 
so to know whether this hamza has zaba uh, has fatha damma or kasra mm -hmm. we need to know the surf of the word to know <laughs> what that will be mm -hmm. because it is family eight and we know that the first hamza on the family eight has a kasra okay. oh. so when we remove the fa what will mm -hmm. we do uh, third third letter i letter this is in fail amar no 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 this is in fail amar mm -hmm. this we are matching it to ikhtaraba to the family eight word okay okay this will we will better understand this when we start doing root letters and how to understand how to get the root letters out of a word okay okay anything have, else yes. excuse me have you done families in this group no um yes uh, we did review the families actually we've been doing review for the past i think month and a half or so and alhamdulillah we started off with past tense then active and passive then present active and passive then we did light and lightest of all the families then okay. we did fele amar fele nahi for all the families because um, i've just i've just joined in so i've missed the families and i'm struggling with the families no problem at all we are going towards the families okay, okay. yes yes with ustad inshallah you know our next uh, the next book in the dream book the next part in the dream book is surf okay so we're going to go through it again no worries inshallah okay inshallah inshallah and it's very and there are recorded uh, sessions as well right <clears throat> yes yes there are recorded sessions if you have time and you are uh, able to then you can watch those recorded sessions yeah. as well where can i watch those sessions um you can ask me for the link it is in the description of the announcement group as well and i'll again share it in our study group as well oh okay thank you so much no problem at all any time Okay, so this sentence is done to everybody's satisfaction. Can we move on now? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> now let's see what other sentence we have. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing these dots because our sentence is this ayah is in three sentences. Inshallah, we'll try to do all three of these. Okay, so this is Surah Ali Al Araf, ayah sixty-two. Okay, let me get the translation for you. Araf is number seven. And Aya is sixty-two. Okay. Ubal lihukum, I convey to you risalati, the messages, Rabbi of my Lord. Ubal lihukum. That's a mouthful. Okay. So what? First of all, uh, is it one word or two words or three words? How two. many words are there? Two, two words. Two words. Two words. Because whenever you have a big word and you feel yeah, that sure. something is going on, break it. So what we'll do is we'll break the word. Ubaligo. Ubaligo. Kum. Plus kum. Uh, could you just wait a second, please? Okay. 
So now you have two words, obaligo and kom. So that makes it easier to analyze the word if you break it up, if it's possible. Now, if it's not an attached pronoun and you're still breaking it up, then we see whether the broken up parts make sense apart from each other or not. So here you have obaligo. So is it a uh, fail, ism, or harf? Fail. But passive, right? Yeah. Fail now mudari. you have to decide whether it's past or present. Yeah. Present. Yeah. Present. Yeah. Present. Yeah. But in passive form, right? But I passed away. Wait, 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 wait. You, ha you said that it is Fele Mudare. You are correct. It is Fele Mudare. Right? So Fele Mudare is Yan Okay. So if uh, please answer after unmuting yourself. Okay. Yan Suru. So this is your present tense, but here you have what? You have a U. So it is Ansuru. But here you have U in the beginning. So which families have U in their present tense uh, phase? Allama. Allama. Yes, you have family two, Allama. You alimu. Then you have family three jahada. Jahada you jahidu. You jahidu. And then you have family four aslama. Aslama you slim. You This is allama, I suppose. Now why are we taking you 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 here and e because here. As somebody was saying, it is passive. If it was passive, then there would have been a fatha here because ua is the pattern of passive mm. present. Mm. Right? So it is in a, so that's why it is active. So now we have to see uh, which of the active mm. present tenses will match this word. Allah so, Allah. yes. So you have one, of, one, one way of uh, seeing is, of course, you write down the fails and we know that this is on this pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's an easier way, which doesn't work with family four, but it works with everything else is. And how, what is that? <clears throat> Let me show you. Inshallah, when we do surf, we will do all this, how to recognize um, and how to go about it. So you take the present tense you have Ubaligo. Now you said that this was present tense. Why? Because U beginning and U ending. U ending. So take away these. So what we do is we take away this. We take away okay. this. Okay. What are we left with? Ubaligo. Now, take away all the harakat as well. Just okay. don't take away the shad. Okay, okay, okay. So, in which family do you have shad in the middle? Allah. The second one. Allah. Allah. So, that's how you can easily see without mm. going into all the okay. surf of it. Okay. Okay. So inshallah, okay. we'll practice this. It will make more sense when we practice more. So for now, we've ascertained that this is family two. And for now, that's enough for us. So it is family two. Excellent. Fele mudare. And what is the doer here? Ana. 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 Hmm. Excellent. Ana is Ana. the inside doer. Inside file. So you have the file and you have the file. Then what is kum? Is it is it anna because of the um, hamza with the dhamma on it? Yes. Okay. Right. Remember uh, ansuru, nansuru. In the present tense, ana ansuru and nahnu nansuru. So hamza at the beginning 
and u at the ending is the sign of ana present tense okay kum what is kum it is an ism first of all uh, always yeah. stick to the process yes, like, yes, analyze it please nasab nasab 3 Sir, Nasir, three. So, uh, no problem, sister. You can you can leave. No problem at all. Jazakallah khair, sir. Okay. okay. So you have N three MP. N makes it. Maful bihi. Why maful bihi? Because pronouns are always attached. Pronouns are always maful bihi. To a fail. Excellent. Yeah. and because pronouns also another point it is just a point don't uh, mm-hmm. panic or anything uh, because they don't show their status, status. so we can say fi mahalli nasab hmm fi mahalli nasab maful bi fi mahalli nasab mahalli nasab yes. and this point is in your book as well yeah 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 right hmm because this i had forgotten and i thought that no because of course attached pronouns can only be nasab and jar so we'll just call them nasab but they can be jar also so you have yeah. to specify so that's why we use fi mahalli nasab here too but so attached just... pronouns to fi can be na- uh, are always nasab aren't they sorry attached pronouns to fi are always nasab yes but they don't really show status like oh so that's why to... we call it fi mahalli nasab yes <laughs> okay so that was just an extra point so now you have fail file and you have your maful bihi all in one bucket attached together mm. okay so uballighukum i convey to you risalati messages right so first of all we will do yeah What is the process? Ism, fail, or harf? Ism. It is a. Okay, so. and then what are the four properties? Nasab or jar. Nasab. 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 One name. Nasab or jar. Yes, we yeah. have to identify first. Three F C. One F. One name. Three F C. Yes, Nasab. it can be three F C. Hmm. But it can be one FC as well. One FC as well, yes. Mm. Because this is a non-human plural. Human, It's not a broken plural. Ah, yeah. sure, plural. Yeah. Okay. So, right? Like ayatun, samawatun, ayatun, sayyaratun. So the ayatun pattern of the Muslim chart mm. is there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. non-human plurals can be one F or three F. Mm. No, Is but that? when they finish in atun atin, they are three f, because atun atin atin are is the plural of the the plural form. Yes, well, non human plural. And you have messages, so it would be three f. No. Yes, it is. It is grammatically. It can be treated both as three f and one f. Sister, oh, is it, it is non-human broken plural? Is it broken plural? No, no, no. no. It is a sound plural. If you have atun atin at the end, okay, okay, yeah. Sorry. Then it is a normal plural, or okay. what we call a sound plural. So this is a normal plural. This is a normal plural, but because it is non-human. Not- That's no, why it can be treated both as one F and three F. Um, but uh, it could be also um, uh, p- p- instead of common. Oh yeah, proper. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it, could it is. It is mudaf also. Yeah. Plural or common? We can't decide right now. We have to decide yeah. the next. Okay. And what else? So you have. It is uh, not full also. Mm. Yeah, if it you're saying that it is nasab yeah. or jar, hmm. so then we have to decide what what it is. Is it nasab or jar? Nasab. nasab. Why? No. Because it is maful bihi. First of all, it is coming after a fail. 
Fair, mm. yeah. Second of all, there are no reasons for it to be jar. Jar. Yeah. There is no harf of jar. It is not a mutafilei. Yeah. Mm. So, so that's why the... we will not okay. take it as jar. We will only take it as nas. Nasab. Okay. Okay. This point, everybody understood? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, sister, I have a question. Risalati, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, is it plural or singular? Because if it's singular, uh, mm -hmm. why is it, is it T and not Tin? There is no Tanwin because there is no Alif, alif, alif Lam. Because it's a Mudaf. Mudaf. It is light here. Yeah, but okay, light normally. Okay, 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 fine. Okay. Right? Atun is light as Atu, Atin is light as Ati, and Ati. Okay? So we are continuing with our analysis. So because it is Nasab, then we know that it is the what bucket is starting? Maful. Maful. Yes, Maful. Maful bucket. Now, I convey to you the messages. What question is the messages answering? What will be he? I convey what. Yes. So what is the question that is being answered? So we will call it maful bihi. And maful bihi what? Fi mahalli nasab. Fi mahalli nasab. Maful bihi fi mahalli nasab. Yes. And also number two. Ah, oh, yeah. Second one. Kum is your first maful bihi. Right. 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 And this is your maful bihi number two. Okay. And risalati. And I don't think so. We will call it fi mahalli because ati is a nasab status giver away. Mm, yes. So you can't say maful bihi here. Sorry, fi mahalli here. No, yeah. whole thing continue. Na? Risalati Rabbi. Yes, but uh, when we know in an idafa fragment, only the type depends upon the mudafile. All of the rest, number, gender, and status, we take from the mudaf. 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 So mm -hmm. mudaf is naturally in the nasab status. Okay. Okay. Mm. So is is abulikum also maful bihi? No. Kum is maful bihi. Yes, kum kum, not ubalikum. Kum is maful bihi. And I will be uh, number one. Yes. Okay. Because I convey to who? To you. To you. So the who question I... is also maful bihi. And what do I convey? Maful bihi. Messages. Messages. So that is your maful bihi too. Of my master. Okay. Risa Lati is mudaf. Let's just delete this on so I have space. Okay, so this is your mudaf. Now, Rabbi, is this one word or two words? Two, two words. words. Two. Rabbi. So you have Rabbi mm -hmm. and Yi. Yeah. E. Okay, so is this as ism or fail or her? Isam. Isam. Analyze it for me, please. Yeah. Singular. Singular masculine plural. One masculine. Proper or common, okay. we have yet to decide. Proper. Yeah, common. since it's a mudaf yeah. again, yeah. Exactly. Mm. And this is because it is jar coming after a mudaf, yeah. so it will be mudaf. Okay. Then, uh, so... Because it is mudafile, so it is connected. So it will it come into the bucket. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Yi, what is yi? Isim fail or hal? Isam. Isam. Attached pronoun. Attached yeah. pronoun. Yeah. What are the uh, four properties? Jar, yeah. singular. Masculine, singular, masculine, feminine, both. Yes. Yeah. 
for both. And because this is proper, okay. now it will have a domino effect. Everything yeah. will be proper now. Now everything will be proper. This other thing will be also proper now. Exactly. So, and this will be your mudaf. And this will also be mudaf and mudafile. And this will be your hmm. mudafile. So, this is your jumla failure. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Wa alaikum assalam. Please, what makes E, what makes it proper? When we were doing pronouns, we were, we said that pronouns are always proper. Why? Because they are referring to something or someone specific. Okay. Like, for example, if I say Sarah is playing in the playground, right? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I won't keep on repeating Sarah again and again if I'm talking more about her. Mm. So what I do is I bring in a pronoun. So then okay. what pronoun will I bring? Can I bring he or it? She. No, I'll have to bring something according to Sarah. Mm hmm so the pronoun is actually referring to a specific person, thing, or place. Okay. So that makes the pronouns proper by nature. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. At all. Like with even with if you see just Rabbi, right? Rab, Lord, ye, mine. So I'm specifying who's Lord. My Lord. Okay. So everything that specifies become proper. Okay. So the whole Risalati Rabbi is Maful Dehi too? Yes, because it is chained. Okay. You see, the bucket is going on. Yes. That's why we have to see whether one word ending is really ending or is it a part of a chain? And here, Risalati is a part of a change, chain which extends to Rabbi. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we have half an hour left. So I'll ask if we do that half hour or is uh, it enough right for right now? For me, you can continue. No. Excuse me, are we going to be doing everything that's going to be coming on the Monday test? I hope so. We are able to uh, go through everything. Um, we are done with Jumla Ismiya. Today, inshallah, Jumla failure will be done. Tomorrow, we will do the Kana and Laisa sentences and start with abnormal sentences as well, inshallah, if time permits. Then on Thursday, we will go through the abnormal structures, both in Jumla Ismiya and Jumla failure. And on Friday, hopefully, we can go through Surah Munafikun. Okay, okay, I think another, that will cover most of it. Do you know um, the um, last class, uh, Ustad said, Iza is always a mudaf. Yes. How is that so? Isn't that a harf, Iza? No, it's an ism. Oh, it's an ism. It's an ism zarf. Um, an ism of time. Time. Ida means when. Okay, so whenever it comes, it's always a mudaf, right? Yes, it is essentially always a mudaf, but there are certain conditions that, and in certain sentences, it has other meanings as well. But okay. over here, where we did like, Ida ja kal munafiqoon, Ida qila lahum, in these sentences, uh, it is coming as a mudaf primarily. Okay. Okay. Thank it's you. It's a very diverse word. It has many meanings in it. Inshallah, when we do conditional sentences, that's where its other side will come out. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So next, let's do. Uh, is it like a zarf? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's I have a zarf question. and it is coming as a mudaf, so that's why we take it into the category of special mudaf. Um, 
So tomorrow you'll do Kana and Leisa, and the next day we'll do abnormal sentence structure, and then uh, the following day we'll do Surah Munafiqun, right? Till ayah 6. Uh, I think we've done uh, till ayah 6. Yeah. Uh, and chapter 7 and 8 is about abnormal sentence structure, right? Yes. Jumla failure and abnormal sentence structures of failure. And chapter 5, we have abnormal sentence structures for Jumla Ismiya. Mm, okay. so hopefully, Kana and Laisa, we are able to do them tomorrow. What um, about think, that? You know, the, the part where um, Lahum means when it's Sifa, when it's uh, when a jar yes. becomes Sifa. Yes, when, we will uh, do all of that in abnormal structures. Oh, okay. Uh, Sister Asfi, we have to read till chapter seven, right? Uh, for the test. Yes, we have to read till chapter 7, but I think one or two tap topics we haven't done yet, in especially Laya uh, Falanna, the emphasis. Yeah, the emphasis of no. Ustad did mention it, but we haven't studied it as yet. Like, how do we make it from a normal uh, present tense to a emphasis one? Um, there's a certain process to it, uh, but we haven't done that. So, what we haven't done will not come. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do. Hmm. The remaining part of the sentence, right? You said the it had three parts, right? The sentence. Oh yes. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to do this one because it has a different type of mafool in it. It's a very okay. small sentence, so then we'll sure. uh, continue with that. Okay. okay. This is. Oh, sorry. The hub. This is Surah Al Ambiya, Aya eighty seven. Zahaba and what does it say next? Mughad. I'm sorry. Diban. God. Mughad Diban. He went away mm -hmm. with anger, angrily. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what is this? It's a fail Maldi. Who are version? Family. It is family one. Yeah. It is Fataha. Okay. Then, um, who are version? So, there is a possibility no, of the outside ism. Is there? Yeah, no, okay. So, this is your no hard inside file. Yeah. Okay, is this an ism fail or harf? Ism, ism. it is an ism file, right? Excellent, and what family? Jahidan Jahada. Yes, family three. Jahada. Yujahidu. Mujahidan. Yes, it is Mujahidan. Mujahidan. So yeah. this is Mugadiban. Yeah. It is Ghadaba. Yugadibu. Can we tell the Mugadiban? Okay, so this is Isme file. Analyze it, please. Nasab. God, one, two. It is plural or what? God, one, no. One ending sound. One. What can it be? Yeah, one, one, one. Yeah, I think you put masculine. One M, one masculine. Common. And common. Excellent. 
uh, excuse me, how did we get to the conclusion that it's um, It is, remember when we did surface agir, if you see mu in front of any ism, it is quite possibly 80% of the time, or I think 90% of the time, and it's file or maful. Okay, so file means the doer, right? Yes, file means the doer. And how do we know it's isme file? Because of this kasra on the ayn yeah. dalma. Okay, because of the meme and the ayn. And the kasra. Kasra. Okay. Because if it was mugad daban, some maful. Then this would be is maful. <laughs> because of mu and fatha on the end. That's why the families are so important, right? That's why the fam. Because if I'm translating is my file as is my maful, then I'll get the wrong concept. And mm. that's what basically happens in the wrong translations that we come across because the translator does not have the Arabic learning mm. to a certain what type of word it is and how to then translate it. Oh. Okay. 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 Thank, thank you. You're welcome. And that's why if we read Mughadi Ban as Mughada Ban, we are changing the meaning. And this is the Lehne Jali, mm. uh, the Tajweed mistake that we cannot and should not make. Right. Okay. Okay. So Mughadiban means one who is angry. Who is angry. So this is Nasab. So what bucket will Mafool. it be? Mafool. Okay, this will be Maful. Excellent. It will be Maful. What Even type how? of Maful? Hal. Why? Is it Maful Mutlik? No, it mutlaq. can't be mutlaq. Mutlaq. It's not mutlaq. It's mutlaq. mutlaq. And uh, with mutlaq, it is easy to see. Same. Because, mm. Yes. It will be either the same, the master from the same family. So if, mm. it, would, if it would have been the haba, the haban, then it would have been maful mutlaq because it's from the same master. But there is also a chance in Mutlaq that a similar meaning Masdar can be used to. So we just have to see. Now here, Zahaba means went and Mughadiban means angry. So there is no correlation between the two actions. So that's why it cannot be a Mutlaq. Then what are you left with? How? How he went how? He went how? How did he went? He went angrily or angry. So this is Maful Hal. So you have fail mm -hmm. and you have your file and you have your Maful Hal. This will make it a Jumla Failure. Failure. So what will we call the first bucket? Or... Fail file. Fail file. Fail file, okay. Because the file is inside, so it's all in one bucket. <laughs> If it was outside, then we'll take, we'll make different buckets. Okay. 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 Let's do one more that is different and then we'll return to the ayah because I just want these two to be done and then we can move on to the next. So it is a small ayah. What to hibbunal mala? Jamma. This is Suratul Fajr, Ayah 20. <clears throat> and the meaning is, and you all love wealth. Hubban Jamma. A really determined love. Let me get the exact meaning of Jamma. Is gathering, I think. Hmm? I think Jamma is like gathering, isn't it? Yes. Like with all your might or with all your love, in a way. 
Let's see what my... 89, Surat Al-Fajr, and Ayah 20. Okay. Yeah, immense, immense love. And you love wealth within immense love. Okay. Wow is? Harfa Fatah. Harfa Fatah. Tuhibbuna. What is it? Fail Mubari. Fail Mubari. Very easy because of the na yeah. and the tu. So it is fail Mubari. Excellent. Then what is the? Anta. Uh, yes. Anta. Uh, Antum. Antum. First of all, yeah, let's oh, sorry, Antum, sorry. Yeah. Because of the Una yeah. and speaking. the Tu. So you have Antum. And Antum can only be inside file. Inside file. And what is the family? al Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. As you said, you remove everything uh -huh. and then Shadda is left. Yes. And then Lama is which family? Family what? Family, family two. two. Okay, please Have explain Baba. again how do we uh, how did we get to the conclusion that it's Allama family? It's Allama. When we uh, try to identify families. We have a certain grouping of families to go through, which makes it easy for us to understand. So the big eight families, there are three groups in it. Group one has F2 family, F3 and F4, which is Allama, Yuallimu, Jahada, You jahidu. Aslama, yes. Then Aslama. You slimu. Right? Then you have group two, in which you have two families, F5 and F6. Uh, tafarraka. Tafarraka. Tafarraku. Tafarraku. Ta'avana Yata'avanu Then you have group three families. You have three F8, uh, sorry, F7. F8 and F9. Sorry, F10. We haven't done nine as yet. It is in Kalaba family, in Kalaba, Yan Kalibu. Then you have Ikutaraba. Yes, Yakutaribu. Then you have Istagfara. Yes, yes, Tagfiru. Istag, oh, sorry, I missed this up. Istag. Now then we match each word because this is a mudare, we match the mudare. So Alama Yuallimu. Does it match? Tuhibu. Because it will be to Alimun. To Alimuna. Does it match? Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. Hmm? Which are the root letters of the Alimuna family? Like Alama. It will be the Ha Baba. 
Hmm. So there is something that is not computing over here. It's not matching, yeah. It's not matching. This is turning out to be a surf class, but let's do it. <laughs> okay. So it's not a lama family, right? Hmm. Let's see. Tohibuna. So if we remove the signs of um, the present tense, what are we left with? Ha and one shadda. So this is Habba. You hebu. It is actually family one. Daraba family. And why did we get mixed up? Because this is a weird word. We haven't done this yet. Okay. So it's okay not getting it. Even I am making a mistake, I think. That's why. Because the uh, will be Yadribu, right? Yes. And here, 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 actually, this is the root letter. And there's a repetition of Ba. Right. So, Habba. It's not Hababa, it's Habba. Because when two letters come together, same two letters come together, the Arabs tend to put Shadda on them. Okay, so for now, we will not do this because this we haven't done yet. It is irregular, sir. Inshallah, I'll myself revise this and tell you in the group. Just uh, write tell me, maybe, maybe, Huban, it's the same family as uh, uh, Aslama, Islaman. No, that would be Ahbaba, Ahabba. It would be Ahbaba Ibaban. Yes, it, it will be different. I'm just checking it out now. Mm. Okay. So it's Habbaba. You have Bibu. You Alimu would be you have Bibu. And this is not you have Bibu. Mm -hmm. So it is. This is something else. Maybe it is uh, uh, from all of them has a ya, ya beginning. It has to be Jahda Alama. To Hibbun Alma Lahubban Jamma. It is two. So let me see. Habba, you have Bibu. And then. Hmm. I'll ask one of my uh, access sisters, inshallah, and then I'll uh, mention it tomorrow as well and get, send it in the group as well. Okay? Okay. So for now... So for now, we don't know the family so far, We don't right? know the family as yet. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's go on to... to Buna. We have the fail. We have the file. Five. Okay, so our bucket has ended for the fail and file. Al Mala. It's an ism. It's an ism because of Al, exactly. Yeah. Analyze it. Nasab, singular, masculine, plural. Mm -hmm. Proper, sorry. Plural. Yes. No, it would be I got common, what you uh, meant. Proper, but it would be singular, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and you love. 
Is Almala and Hubban connected? No. No. No, no not possible. So, a full bihi bucket has ended. Oh. What is Hubban? It's an Islam again. Nakira oh. Islam. What is, an, uh, analyze it please. Nasab. Singular masculine. Mahfoul. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, because your master is the same as from the same family as oh. the faith. <clears throat> so this is in actuality <laughs> talking about the <laughs> action. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is maful <laughs> mutlaq. So if the if it comes from the same family, it's called Mafrul Mutlaq, right? Yes. Mm. From the fair and fine family. and Jamma could be Masuf Sifa. Masuf Sifa. Yeah. Excellent catch. Okay. So, but we are running ahead again. So, <laughs> 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 Mafrul Mutlaq. Bucket has started. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Then we analyze Jamma. Mm. It's an ism. It's an ism. Ism again. Nasab singular Nasab masculine Nasab common. Nasab. Okay. So you've got two conditions. Describing. Mm. And to describe the other, right? Yeah. Yes. This third that is, is the litmus test. Yep. So it is connected. Masu Sifa. Hubban Jamma. So Hubban Jamma is your maful mutlaq. And Ustad said one point more about this Jamma. Although we say that this is Mosuf Sifa, grammatically, Hubban is the Mosuf of Jamma, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what happens is that Arabs could not find out a way in order to describe a fail. Hmm. So what they did, they did a sneaky bit of uh, sneakiness <laughs> and what they did was that instead of, of course, they cannot bring an uh, ism adjective describing the fail. So what they did was they put a sifa on the maful mutlaq. <laughs> but actually that sifa is describing the action. Do you get what I mean? Can you repeat, sister? Action, action of what? Sorry? Action of? The action that is taking place. Just a second. Let me clear this. This is an extra point. It is in the book. Under maful e mutlaq, you will find this. Okay. Now here Straight we say door. that you all love wealth and Jum intense love. Intense love, yeah. Because this is the same family as this. It means mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. So actually this sifa is not describing this. It is actually mm -hmm. describing the action. Yes, but because we cannot bring a sefer to a fail, so mm. what they did, they inserted this ism uh, to be the mosu mm. from the mm -hmm. same family. Yeah, got it. Did I confuse someone more or not? No. <laughs> no, it's clear. 
it makes sense though yeah so maybe in another i probably i won't be able to identify but yeah, uh, i want to show you sorry could you repeat one more time i didn't get it sure just give me a minute please just give me a second thank you I again yes uh, I apologize I can't mistaken uh, erased it so this is our last sentence because we are already two minutes away from time so I'll just explain this point again Uban Jamma right okay so here it is that you all love what do you love wealth and intense love right mm -hmm. here love is a fail mm -hmm. here love is an ism yes agree yeah mm -hmm. yeah now, what happens is that if someone wanted to say that he beat him up, a real beating. So, mm -hmm. what is he describing, basically? He's describing the beating. Beating. Okay. Yeah. Beating. But the problem in Arabic is that you can't have a sifa for a fail. Mm -hmm. Right? Sifa yeah. is an ism. Yes. So, the mm -hmm. Arabs managed to devise a plan where they took this family... And bought mm -hmm. an ism out of it here. Mm -hmm. So then they could justify this sifa. Oh, okay. Because then you have a mausuf, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we okay. know that mausuf can only be an ism. Yes. So in actuality, this jamma is describing the hibuna action. Hibuna. action. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. But it could be like what to hibun al mala hubban, so that you all love wealth. You all love wealth in, intensely. So if we cancel the hubban, no, no. If we leave the hubban and cancel the jamma, but then how will you describe the you're getting away the describing word? Hubban isn't That's describing okay. to hibuna. Uh, hubban is like is a. Uh, Mazda, right? Yes. So yes, you love love like real love, you know. But why are you using real then? No, hubban would be like it's the intensifier. You know what I mean? Because it's the Mazda of the same family, and we know that Mabul But then it hubban. would have been. But then, if you don't have this, the sifa, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean. What you're saying, I get what you're saying, and you're saying correctly that if but the sentence was this, given. it would have been complete. Yeah, an idea understand. has been given, right? It's not been explained. I'm it sorry, I didn't get the kind of love. Yes, it is further explaining this jamma. Exactly is further explaining this. But because this is from the same family, so this is also being explained. Right. But if this wasn't there, then this would still be maful mutlaq. Right. Because it is from the same family. So, mm -hmm. uh, so Jama is Masuf and Hubban is Safa, right? Yes. Uh, no, Hubban is Masuf. Masuf and Jama is Safa. Jama is Because there is the other one, like, Dukkatil Ardu Dakkan Dakka. So, 
still yes. in that one, uh, Allah used the same mustard twice, you know? Yes. That Dukati is, is, uh, is that the is field. emphasis through repetition. Right. So, uh, so hubba means love and jama means uh, collecting? Intense. 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 Okay. So, so sister Asfia, this uh, this jama does it uh, is describing this hubban as well as it is uh, describing the tuhipuna? Yes. Yes. Actually, the real purpose behind it, adding a sifa to this to a maful mutlaq is to describe the action happening. But because action is fail and sifa is ism, so they cannot be in a fragment. So you are, so they're making use of this maful mutlaq there. Yes. So then they are describing the maful mutlaq to indirectly describe the action. Oh, jazakallah khairan. Indirectly uh, describing the fail, that means. Yes. Sifa. Okay. This is optional. Hubban, jamman is optional. Right? Hubban is the yeah. real maful mutlaq. Jamman is just further describing it. I feel an intense silence. Actually, actually, I was pondering on all in a thinking process. I was pondering on this ayat. Yes, I was pondering on this ayat and the two following ayat to uh -huh. understand the difference because when this one is saying uh, hub and jamman. Mm -hmm. So I was yes. thinking the Dakan Dakan, I was looking at the translation, Safan Safan. I was trying to say Hubban Hubban in the same meaning, but no, it won't go. So that's uh, why I was in, that's why I was silent. I was thinking about it. So maybe yes, that's when so the German came there. Because there's another one that have Sorry. In that same surah, there is another one like So you are the and or from the same family. Or yes. you Yes. 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 So, okay. maful mutlaq is a master coming from the same family of the action, of the fail. Or it's a master which is in similar in meaning to the fail. Mm -hmm. Inshallah, uh, when we do more ayahs, we'll uh, come upon uh, certain maful mutlaqs that are not from the same family, but they do mean the same thing. I'll try to get some examples for you um, and share them uh, later on. So, Mr. we can uh, say that if there is a mark of FIFA, then, there, then the FIFA is uh, uh, telling this action about uh, feel. And uh, if there is no FIFA, then Hubban uh, is the only mutlaq for uh, feel. I apologize. My son was here. I couldn't uh, get your whole question. Okay. If there is a Mosul Sifa as a Mutlaq of Fail, mm -hmm. then the Sifa is, uh, is, a, is a, uh, applying to the Fail as a Mutlaq. Yes, it is a, actually, grammatically, it is the Sifa of the Maful Mutlaq. But meaning-wise, it is describing the action. Okay. Action of, okay. uh, of Mosul. Action of Mausul. Uh, what I am trying. Uh, yes, please. Uh, if anybody has to go, uh, please. No, no, you don't even need to ask. Okay. Now, what I meant was that let's do it this way. If we didn't have Jamma, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This would still be Maful Mutlaq. Mutlaq. Because it is from the same family. family. Mm. Right? Mm. Now, Arabs wanted to describe the intensity of this action. Okay. It, we, so they couldn't bring a Mosul, the they do, couldn't make it Mosul. Because it's a fail. Mm. 
So what they did was they added a and sifa to this ism because it's an ism. It can take mm. a sifa. Mm. But because it is of the same family as the action, mm. so meaning-wise, this sifa is describing to hibuna. Grammatically, it is the sifa of hubban, mm. but meaning-wise, it is further explaining the action. Okay. Okay. The okay. more, inshallah, we'll study, the more we'll get used to these ideas. Inshallah. 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 Alhamdulillah. So we're done with our session for today. Any questions left so that I can end the recording? And then we, if you want to say something, then we can do that. Uh, I have a question, but end the recording and then I'll ask a question, please. Okay, sure. If it's related to this, then please, so that it... No. <laughs> okay. So, inshallah, um, we'll end the session for today. So, tomorrow, we'll start the Sana and Laysa sentences, inshallah. Inshallah. Right. Sister. Oh, yeah. Right. I had a question. Yes. Sister, can I ask you yes. one question? Yes, 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 please. <clears throat> it's about the special mudaf. Uh, when it comes, uh, uh, when uh, I had a specific question with Baina Hum. So mm -hmm. it is a special mudaf, but yes. that Hum in this case becomes, it answers the question who? Be uh, between, Baina is between, right? Yes. Uh, between them it is actually so between yes. who it would answer generally it would be mafulun bihi but uh, I, I I think I, I asked you in um, the group uh, mm -hmm. whether uh, and you said special mudaf when followed by an attached pronoun uh, are always maful fi right yes did I get it right yes yes okay okay that is my question like I just want to know so that doesn't matter in this case like the answering of the question who will not matter here if there is a special muda followed by an attached pronoun? It will always be a mafulun. Yes. Fi, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Just wanted because to clarify. Because Baina um, is telling you where. Hmm. Even if it's them, if it's who, if you take it as who, like we say attached pronouns are always maful bi. Hmm. But they are maful bihi only uh, when they are attached to a fail. Okay. Yes, got it, sister. Just because with Baina home, they become mudafile. They don't, they can't be mafool with a ism. Okay. Can you repeat the last part? Uh, with, uh, they become mudafile with an, uh, yeah, yeah. They, it is a special mudaf, so it will be, mud, uh, yeah, mudafile. Yes. If I say, Nasara home. This is a fail. This is, and the file is inside. And home is a yeah, so. attached so. pronoun. Yeah. Mm. So only if it's attached to a fail will it be maful bihi. Right. But with baina home. Mm. Yeah, now I get it. Yeah. Baina is an ism. Yeah. Even though it's a special mudaf, mm. but it's still an ism. Mm. And home attached to an ism can never be maful bi. It will always mm. be mudaf. Yes. So the question mm. of maful bihi doesn't even arise here. Yeah, got it. And Just... this will be, if it's coming in a jumla failure, it will be maful fihi. And if it's a jumla ismiya, it will be MBK. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. So, inshallah, uh, we'll end the session here. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk wa akhiru da'wana nilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.